Hello everyone, it's uh, Marek Mulacek here and welcome to another video in Photoshop this time. And this time I want to show you how to create split screen, but a little bit different from what you normally see. Uh, because you know with split screens, or like picture in picture effects, you can have a split screen a side by side. So for example, if I make a new sequence and I'll make it a standard full HD, should actually have a preset for that? No, I don't. So 1080p. Okay, that's perfect. And I've got these two videos which I'm going to use here. So say I can drop this one on a timeline here. And at the same time, I want to have another one. So I'm going to drop this one on top at the same time. Okay. And we could have them appear side by side. So I could edit one of them, like this one, for example, I could double click. Uh, well, actually, I could just select it, for example, and say move it. So this could go maybe to the right, uh, maybe something like that. And I'll probably crop it a bit as well. So I could do is apply crop effect. So if I go to effects and then crop, we can actually apply a crop effect to this video and crop just a little bit of the left hand side. So let's say it's like a halfway. And then with the video underneath, I would move it to the left. So she's in the picture. So I've got these two videos side by side at the same time. This is a split screen effect. And if you wanted to maybe have a border in between, you could say maybe draw a line of the pentel, for example, but I want to show you a slightly different split screen. Uh, always the same sequence, and I'm going to have the same videos. I'm just going to drop them once again from here. So say this one will go on the top like before, and this one will go underneath. And I'm just going to trim it so they're all the same duration. So I've got these two clips, uh, these two video clips, uh, courtesy of Pexels. Thank you very much. Okay, So you can find these videos on Pexels if you want to use them. Now what we want to do here is we want to have a split screen but a little bit different one. So in this case, on the top video, I'm going to add a mask. So if you look at the video here and go down to opacity, we can add a mask. So we could use a pen tool for example and draw a freeform bezier mask, we can draw something like that, for example, and we have a picture in picture or a split screen in a way. What I want to do is something a bit more different, uh, maybe a bit more interesting as well. Let me just delete this mask to have her appear on the side. So if I just move this video to start with, so let's say move it so she's on the right edge of the screen. Uh, I don't think she's moving here much. Okay. So maybe just a little bit more to the right. Okay. And the one underneath could go a bit more to the left. Maybe like this. And now on this top uh, clip, on the top track, going back to opacity, we, I'm going to use this ellipse for a mask. Okay. Now, with this ellipse, we're going to make it bigger. Now, let's say you want to keep it a circle because, as you know, you can grab any of these handles in here to resize it. But if you do want to keep it as a circle, because it's going to be a circle by default, we could just use mask expansion to make this mask bigger. So you can do something like that. Just to make it quicker, easier, and to keep it as a circle. Okay. I'm not going to do it a further. Actually, with further, I want it to be zero. So there's no feather on the edge of the mask. So it's just two clips next to each other, playing at the same time. Now let's say we want to maybe have a stroke on here. I guess what we could do is draw a shape. So I'll make sure there are no clips selected. I'll grab the ellipse tool. Okay. We'll draw ellipse here. So I'm going to go here 
to maximize mode to make it bigger, easier. And now draw, oh, it does it when I maximize mode. So if I just draw a shape here, okay, I just click and drag, or hold the shift key down to make it into a perfect circle. This makes a new clip, new graphic. That's okay. I'll switch back to selection tool and we'll just move it. Let's try maximize mode now. And I was going to zoom out a little bit. Oops, maybe 50. Okay. Because this is staying in a circle. So we just want it to be bigger. Oops, shift key to keep the proportions. Or actually, what we can do is if you want more control, more precision here, is you could actually just make it bigger. It doesn't have to be exactly a circle. We just want it to kind of overlay here. And we could put this, if we keep in the, now you have two options here. You could have the shape with just a stroke, or we can keep it as a fill and put it behind this video. So in the timeline, if I just shorten these a little bit. Oh, I've got quite a few of these. Uh, Okay, so let's just delete this one. No, hold on. Let's just do it again. So I've got a clip here. We'll make sure there's nothing selected. We'll draw a circle with the ellipse tool as a shape. We can try to make it the right size as we draw it. So let's say about this size. This will make us a new clip. I'm probably going to have V5 or V6. Here we go. So it's this one there. This shape here. Okay. So put it there. And we'll move it. There's the shape. Okay. So mine will need to be a little bit taller. Let me just zoom out. Here we go. It's a little bit taller. Probably like that. We'll probably zoom in closer to see it better and just scroll down scroll up so you get something like that and then we can position it where we want it so maybe it's a little bit too far to the left so I'll move it horizontally a little bit maybe potentially maybe something like that you can change its color so maybe the fill color could actually be maybe white looks better and that's our two videos with the split screen where we have this border between them. Okay. Um, I'm just shorten them because this video clip is shorter as well. So I got these two as a split screen, something like that. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the split screen effect, picture in picture effect. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any comments in the comments below in the comments. And uh, hope to see you again on another video. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Molarczyk from SciTrainer.co.uk and hopefully see you again in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.